but you are more precious than silver. Lord, you are more costly than gold, more beautiful than diamonds. Nothing on this earth we desire but you, Lord. Nothing, Jesus. Nothing, Lord. Lift your hands, tell him how much you love him, saints. Lord, you are more precious. compares with you Lord you are Lord you are Lord you are Lord, you are. compares with you Lord you are more precious than silver And great is your faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning. I see all thy hands have. To you belongs the glory. To you belongs the honor and all the majesty. Wonderful Jesus. Wonderful Jesus. Just for a moment, saints. Lift your hands to him. You are the God that healeth me. There's a lady, the Lord's been telling me for the last 15 minutes, there's someone with severe pain in your shoulder. And just begin to move that shoulder. It's, uh, the, the second you do, you're going to start feeling heat go right through there. You sent your word. 
healed my disease. You are the Lord. You are the God. Somebody right up there. Somebody right up there. You've had trouble with your shoulder, and I thought I'd do this later, but the Lord just won't let me. You sent your word. I think you, you went to the doctor a few days ago, and you're not sure what is going on with your body. But the Lord is healing a lady up there. You are... I gotta, I gotta get this lady down here. And you feel heat on you. Just let me know who you are. And the, just check the pain. Just check the pain. Is that you up there? I'm not sure who it is, but that person is right up there. Get down here. I thought it was on that side. I wasn't totally sure. Tim, go, 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 go get her. You are the God. I wasn't planning on, pray, on, on praying for the sick right now, but when, when the Lord says he's healing someone, I, I obey. Someone also with a chest infection. Up, up, up top too. You've had troubles with your chest. It's all I know. And the Lord is healing that chest infection. Where are you? You also felt the heat go through you. The, 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 the power of God just hit that woman. Get her up here. You are the God. I think that's her right there. Can, can someone go and get her? Come here, dear. Come here. What, what was wrong with you? I've had a shoulder replacement. I have titanium in there. You've had pain there? For years. Pardon? For years. <laughs> Since I was 16. Check it out. <laughs> I can tell God's doing something. <laughs> you actually had called this out like a year ago, and I don't know why I was actually telling a friend of mine that came with me that I felt like my feet were frozen and I couldn't come down here, and you kept saying everything about my shoulder. <laughs> that I had numbness and down to the fingers and and I was telling him on the way here that I asked God for another chance because I didn't come down that day for you. It's amazing the Lord would stop me and said, get it down here. What a God we serve. You were coming here today telling the Lord to, to give you a give you sign. Huh? Yeah, I was telling my friend that came with me, He's this is his first time here, that you had called this out before, I believe it was last year, and you kept saying every little detail that was going on, the numbness in my fingers, all the way down the pain in the left shoulder, and you just kept insisting and insisting. But I didn't listen, and I was like, God, I don't know why I didn't go down. <laughs> Tonight on the way you said, Lord, give me a second chance. Yes, yes. <laughs> what a God. And he is my witness. I told him <laughs> on the way here, so he looked up. I got that word of knowledge the minute I began in worship. And I kept saying, well, maybe like I'll do it later, you know. And, and the Lord said, no, there's someone. And I knew it was, and I think I was pointing at that section at first. I thought, well, Lord, I'm, I'm not getting that. That lady had that lung. Is that, is that her? Jesus. Just one more time. You are the God. There goes the anointing. You sent your word. Bring her closer to me. You feel that? What do you feel on it? <laughs> Felt light. <laughs> you are the God. 
I'm feeling the anointing strong. Somebody up there also with a skin problem, right in the same section. Who's got that skin problem? And you feel the anointing on them. Is that the little girl? Whoever is God is healing is feeling something on their skin. Hey, little girl, are you, are you feeling that on your skin, baby? Huh? Well, c come on down anyways. Bring this one here, sir. What was wrong with your lungs? What, what? She was in a car accident three years ago. She's had incredible chest problems and pain. It's been affecting my voice for singing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Suzanne is not supposed to be a catcher, but <laughs> help her up, guys. Go, go, go pray for that little girl, so. Okay, breathe in, take, take a breath. One more. <sighs> I rebuke it in Jesus' name. Won't you guys sit down a minute? God love you all. Bless you. He's able. He's able. I know he's able. I know my Lord is able to carry me through. I think somebody better help her out because I don't think she, she, she can walk right. Pastor, Brandon, oh, yeah. Pastor, I've been praying for my daughter. She's alcoholic. And I've been interceding for her for years. And I think I told you about it one good Friday three years ago. And she also smokes. And she's been trying to kill herself. And it's... it's where, is, where is your daughter? She was supposed to come tonight, but Satan attacked her. And she got the flu. What's her name? <laughs> What's her name? D D D Can you say it? I don't know. Dan. 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 What's her name, darling? Danielle. Danielle. She has a lot of demonic spirits. You couldn't even say it. I couldn't. Break it! <laughs> Jesus, pray in the, in the Holy Ghost over her. Come on, all of you. Just stretch her and pray in the Spirit over her. Man of God, is God giving you a word? I sense that. Come here a minute. Give me a mic. How come I don't see a picture on the screen there? Why, why am I not seeing a picture? Keep praying, keep praying in the Spirit. You got one for her. You, yeah, okay, pick her up, pick her up. Come on, guys. Listen here. Stop. Shh. Look, look, look at this man, man of God here. It's so bad. No, nothing is too bad. <laughs> Hello. The devil is a liar, lady, okay? Go ahead, Doc. Look at me. You got to hear. You got to hear. The Lord talk, spoke to me right over there, and he says that this thing has been attacking you, what's attacking her. There's something in your bloodline that's been attacking your family. And God says he's coming against that right now. Spiritualism. He says he's judging that thing at this very moment. Do you hear me? Now, what is your daughter's name? Danielle. Danielle, okay. Stand, stand tall. God says Danielle shall no longer be held hostage to the system of control and Jezebel that's in her system. <laughs> so right now I break by the power of God that Jezebel spirit that goes a generation before you in your blood and down the next generation. Don't you love when the Holy Ghost takes over? Pastor. Yes, sir. I heard somebody. <laughs> go ahead and do it. I heard the Lord say someone is dealing with a bad liver. And he says he's about to deliver you in your the liver. The liver. Someone with a liver issue. Can she come? Yeah, yeah, of course she can come. 
Come on down, dear. Listen, I was, I had a cousin who came to, to, to tell me bye. I had a service in Jacksonville, Florida. I was doing a service. He came to tell me I'm done, I'm dying. His skin was turning and everything. And the Lord told me through a woman of God, he said, she said, you gotta pray for him. And I prayed for him. He needed a transplant. He needed a heart transplant and a liver. And he just died just a little bit ago, but he didn't die because he needed a liver. He was totally delivered, totally healed. God gave him a new liver and a new heart. I declare the same thing over you right now. You will not deal with this past this week. I declare that the healing virtue of the Lord rests mightily upon you. Now, let's, let's pray for the little girl. Pardon? Isabel and? Come here, baby. The, mo the mother, they came by train from Los Angeles and Uber. The mother went and got her out of school at 12 o'clock noon, and the little girl knew that if she got here tonight, she was going to be touched and healed. There was no seats for her. She was devastated, and God arranged for them to have a seat. Her little brother's up there. Tim. Tim. So you guys, you guys came from Los Angeles. Came on a train, or what? I have heart failure, so I can't drive. So we came on a train and two Ubers and then a hotel. And she just knew she loves you so much, and she knew you were going to heal. Well, love you too, darling. Skin issue. Huh? I felt so. I just I I wanted so much to come and. I I th I thought you had a word for her, earlier. Yeah. Did I? Am I? No, I I I, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, please, please, right now, yeah. Tell me your name again. Lorena. Lorena, put your hand up again. This, when, when he did something a second ago, you're, you actually raised your arm, <laughs> and then you went back into another zone. The healing zone, you went right into the healing zone, and health hit your body just as clear. There was electricity that started going through you at that very moment, and God said he was making adjustments, but you let your mind take you back. God says, if you let your mind take you back, you won't experience what he promised you. So try, take your hand and just go with me. God says he's going to extend this hand in your life. If you notice, you're higher than you've ever been right now. It's not been this high. Don't let it go. Don't let it go. Let that healing virtue go through you. You got to know it. You got to know it in your heart, in your mind. Wow. And not only this, but the Lord says that he's going, there's a gentleman in your life. There's a gentleman and there's a lot of trouble going on in his life. But God says he's delivering this young man. Do you know who I'm talking about? Your son. God says he's changing his whole trajectory. And his life is turning around this day. Even right now, God's touching him. God's shifting his whole mindset. He's been fighting over the past week. Over the past week, he's probably given more problems. But God says it's because he's been working on him and he's fighting. He's resisting, just like you started resisting this miracle. But God says, not only is he healing your body, he's healing your entire family. Wow. What a mighty God we serve. Do you know you're higher than you've been? Are you feeling pain? Thank you, Jesus. No pain. Take a deep breath and receive this. That's it. I'm glad we're obeying the Holy Ghost tonight. Now, once you go to your seats, I want to just pray for this little 
precious girl here. We will pray for the sick further, I promise you, as, as, as the Lord leads us. But I want you all to stretch your hands towards this beautiful little girl. Let them see you. Now, you, you guys pick them all up, these people. Yeah. Easy, easy now. Both arms, thank you. Now, I want you all to lift your hands. All right, just, just before you do that, stretch your hands towards her and pray in the spirit for 30 seconds. Lift your hands to heaven and just by faith we're going to sing this. And he touched me. Oh, he touched me. And oh, the joy. touched me you you you're telling him now hmm? you feel that shaking all over you Jesus name something cover up She was feeling uh, trembling a little earlier. Can you describe that? Um, I don't know how to describe it. Pardon? I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> now, Lord, bring healing to this family. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jesus. And he touched me. Here it is. In Jesus' name. I rebuke that problem in her body, in her little girl, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Help her up, John. feeling it, but I'm feeling it too, lady. Now you, wow, yeah. Now you go to your seat, and you're going to keep feeling that anointing throughout the night, both of you. Well, I didn't do it. Well, let's just thank the Lord. Come on. Lord, we thank you for this. Precious Jesus. Amen. Amen.